Math Coach presents Rounding to the Nearest Ten. We use rounding when we want to estimate. Rounding gives us numbers that are easy to use, like 10, 20, 30, and so on. Rounded numbers help you solve everyday problems where you don't need an exact answer. That's called an estimate. Rounding might look hard, but hey, guess what? If you know how to put numbers in order, and can skip count by tens, you can learn to round any number to the nearest ten with ease. Here are some useful things to know. You can show any number on a number line. Numbers to the right have a greater value than numbers to the left. Every number that ends in the digits 1 through 9 sits between two tens. The nearest 10 on either side of your number is a useful benchmark. And the midpoint is the number that is halfway between the two benchmarks. If the number you want to round is less than the midpoint, round down. If the number you are rounding is at the midpoint or greater than the midpoint, round up. You can round any number in four easy steps. Let's see how. Let's round 27 to the nearest 10. Step 1. Figure out what benchmarks to use. Between which two tens does 27 belong? 20 is the lower benchmark and 30 is the higher benchmark. Step 2. Find the midpoint between your benchmarks. That's the number that is exactly in the middle. The midpoint between 20 and 30 is 25. Step 3. Now locate 27 on the number line. You can see that 27 is more than 25. So now you're ready for step 4. You can round. 27 is closer to 30 than to 20. So, to the nearest 10, 27 rounds up to 30. Sometimes the nearest 10 is 0. Let's round 4 to the nearest 10. The benchmarks are 0 and 10. The midpoint is 5. 4 is less than 5. So, to the nearest 10, 4 rounds down to 0. And sometimes the nearest 10 is 100. Look at 96. The benchmarks are 90 and 100. The midpoint is 95. 96 is greater than 95. So, to the nearest 10, 96 rounds up to 100.